All right, so as I'm waiting for the plane to pull up and then we can take off, I was thinking about how some of the friends that I have and some of the clients that we work with are currently uh, in a delicate balance between what they really like to do, right? And pouring too much into the other projects and people that are demanding so much from them right uh one particular person comes to mind as uh, she's a working professional very successful uh working corporate does a lot and um, also engages in different activities like kickboxing and salsa dancing uh, but the interesting thing about her is she also eventually became not just a uh, a student of kickboxing and salsa dancing but because she became friends with the owners she eventually became a trainer right they trained her and then she started to train uh, their clients etc while she still held uh, her full-time job but because she was such a, a good person and someone that likes to be of service uh, she was spreading herself thin so it made me think about how a very well-meaning people can live an unfulfilled life because a lot of the activities that they're participating in um, can suck them dry man so if you're one of those and I can be guilty of the same thing uh, take some time to spend with yourself uh, reignite the passion that you have inside you right that childhood passion of whatever it is that you're doing and, and hone in on that right protect your time block your time so that you can focus on you don't feel like you're obligated to do things for other people because you have such a good heart right don't take advantage of yourself a really good exercise to regain that is to make a list make a list of things that interest you and things that engage you and then visit that uh, as often as you can right so at the end of the day it's all about you uh, protect your time and your energy and still be able to be of service to others but strategically within the priority system right all right take care and um see you soon